Welcome to I-50 Global Capital Summit. Today, I have the honor to welcome a legendary founder who is also a mathematician, technology inventor, and entrepreneur. He founded four very successful companies, Ball and Soft, Starfish, Lightsurf, many years ago has very successful exit. Now he's a founder of a health tech company working on sleep technologies. It's called Full Power. So welcome, Philip. Well, my, first, you my first you. question to you is that uh, you are a mathematician, technology inventor, entrepreneurs. How do you describe yourself? Uh, I am describe myself as someone who's passionate about team building, about um, innovation and science. And every time I try to build something, it has to do with innovation, a great team, and being passionate about a solution. When we, uh, at Full Power, we're, it's all about sleep and sleep technology and contactless bias dancing. But in Lightsurf, for example, it was all about creating the first camera phone and, 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 and opening the opportunity for um, telemedicine, for citizen journalism, and all these other great things that happened with the camera phone. At Borland, it was professional development tools. And so, so my passion is always where I focus my entrepreneurship. Great. Actually, I'm a big fan of sleep technology as well. I do lots of meditation, standing meditation. I do believe sleep is very important to people's health. However, I'm very curious to know that uh, as a mathematician and the person who invented a um, camera phone, how do you get into the sleep world? Maybe can you tell us uh, more about uh, the full power, maybe a presentation or something? Yeah, I, I can do that. Uh, first, I'll start to talk about how we got into sleep. You know, uh, the camera phone was about putting a sensor in a phone, an image sensor. And then we realized that sensing could do a lot. And then we realized that sleep is, is, is a third of people's lives. I mean, a third of our time is in sleep, eight hours a day. So we spend a time. And the sleep is like the deep ocean where we don't really understand sleep. All the studies on sleep have been uh, basically based in sleep labs, but not on everyday sleep. And you were talking about meditation. I always sleep. I always say that uh, uh, sleep is unconscious meditation, and uh, meditation is conscious sleep. And they're very tied together. And as you know, there are tremendous health benefits or health impediments if we don't sleep well. And so, sleep is really a key to a better life. And so, that that's really was my passion. And in fact. It's, it, it's a little bit connected with, with the, the history of the camera phone where our daughter was born and we uh, created this, this tool to actually share my memories with others. Well, uh, that same daughter who, was, uh, who, who helped create the camera phone to her birth um, had never wanted to sleep. And so um, I, 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 I talked to some very well-known sleep specialists and they came and we studied her sleep. And that really get me fascinated about sleep and, and what her sleep patterns are because everybody's sleep patterns are and understanding that her way of sleeping was very interesting. It was healthy and, and, and wasn't a problem. And that really made me passionate about the world of sleep, uh, contactless biosensing, et cetera. And I'm happy to Okay, so let me uh, share my screen now and, and, and discuss a little bit what Full Power uh, is, is all about. So I'll share my screen. Here's, uh, here we go. Um, so at Full Power, we're a leading uh, med tech company and we're focused on contactless biosensing technology and intellectual property as it applies in particular to sleep. And we have a complete platform uh, for medical grade AI powered algorithms uh, with contactless biosensing. Um, and that includes end-to-end -end engineering services. Um, we've been building this platform for a decade with a fantastic team. Uh, we have over 125 patents and um, 
our key area of expertise is really contactless biosensing, remote monitoring, and of course, non-invasive polysomnography level uh, sleep technology. And so our sleep technology is really based on, um, on, on, on build, bringing a, the equivalent of a sleep lab into the home. Today, if you do a sleep study, um, if you do a sleep study, you go to a to to a, a sleep lab, and you know you sleep on your own in a bed that's not your own, and 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 you find a lot of information about how you sleep. But what's really important, in our opinion, is that to maintain that continuum day to day, night after night, for a long period of time, and understanding how you sleep in your own environment with partners, with kids around, with pets, uh, and understanding how the, the patterns of your sleep change over time, maybe because of aging, maybe because of a chronic condition, or maybe because of treating a chronic condition, improving, and understanding you know, what happens day to day with, with, with apnea, what ha are they telltale signs that will show, for example, that you're getting an infection, a flu, or whatever it is. So uh, you, you can't do that in a sleep lab by spending one night every year or every two years or five years. Uh, you can only do that by continuous sleep monitoring um, and, and doing it in, in, with the quality of a clinical solution. And that's what Full Powers Platform is doing. So the kind of, 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 of conditions that today we, 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 we look at in sleep are heart rate variability for health, but snore and apnea management that would include um, um, for example, respiratory monitoring, including COPD, wellness scoring, presence management, overall uh, pattern recognitions to understand is, is in, in your motion if if you're developing you know a neurological condition or something like that. So all sorts of different um, different ways of looking at at one third of 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 everyone's life, which is sleep. We spend a third of our lives. Um, sleeping and, and sleep is not something that is fully understood. It's like the deep ocean. We understand the surface, but we need to understand a little bit better how this whole ecosystem works. And that's really our mission at Full Power to, to, to understand that. Where there are really three main areas for our business. It's uh, the medical space, including clinical uh, trials, uh, medical devices, um, and 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 then 24/7 care, which is 24/7 care, which is really important, which is helping people understand during at least a third of people's lives where they're passive, uh, and we have a completely non-invasive uh, solution. How how they sleep and how we can improve that, because one thing that we've learned, for example, through this crisis, this coronavirus, uh, kind of, is that one of the key elements to improving people's health and immune system is sleep. And for example, in the case, an extreme case of the present crisis, there is no vaccine, there is yet no treatment. But one thing we know is that if we improve our immune system, we improve our chances to do well through this uh, uh, condition that is uh, developed as a pandemic. And then of course, in the smart home, it's really important, you know, sleep becomes important because it ties into, uh, you know, lighting, uh, how do you help yourself with lighting, music potentially, um, and, and, and the whole automation of the home and how you can improve people's sleep with beds that change uh, um, geometry, pay, uh, beds that help you uh, snore less. I mean, the, the good work that a company like Tamporpedic, for example, um, is doing in, in, in that space. Uh, from a business model, what we did is we, we realized that we're creating that platform and we want a lot of people to use it. So we're creating a B, B2B uh, business model where we're basically licensing to others. We're doing complete technology tr transfers to others. We're doing uh, source code licensing, uh, long-term technology maintenance and, and strategic partnerships to help make that platform uh, basically uh, more ubiquitous and help everyone sleep better. 
uh, our solutions are AI powered, they're cloud based, and and they're designed to to work anywhere in the world with any kind of bedding and 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 help basically people sleep better, which has a lot of positive uh, implications. So that's kind of in a nutshell, you know, an explanation of what we do at Full Power. Great, that's a pretty impressive. <clears throat> Again, I said earlier, I'm a big fan of sleep technology as well. I'm sure lots of challenges you have faced in the past, but from a mathematician and the inventor. So what are the challenges you're facing to switch to a health tech company? Well, I think it's, you know, my, my approach to, to everything is, it's my passion, my understanding. Uh, you know, I looked at sleep and I realized that, um, you know, um, <laughs> it, it's a third of my life and I know very little. I can read all the books I want. I can go to a sleep lab and we operate two of them actually at full power. We have two sleep labs that we continuously operate to actually label data for AI. But that's a that, 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 that's technical thing. But I realized that you can't understand people's sleep or understand what the effects of, 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 of a drug, of a procedure or of the effects of sleep on the usage, the, the effectiveness of a drug and a procedure are without being able to look at sleep analytically and quantify it and use powerful analytics that are AI powered to actually uh, understand day to day the changes in sleep. Um, a lot of the measures in a sleep lab is, you know, you, you go in a sleep lab, you spend a night and you have a great picture of what you uh, of, of how you're sleeping, but it doesn't give you a day-to-day -day change in your sleep patterns, in your heart rate, your respiration rate, your, the depth of your respiration and heart rate variability. And, and we can actually uh, uh, show you some of that. If you'd like, I, I can show you uh, uh, some, some charts of analytics if you're interested. Sure, um, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll actually, you can find them on some of them on our on our website. So I'll, I'll actually uh, show you some of some of that. So um, here's an example of of analytics. Uh, uh, now let me that well whatever that that went into a a different space. Let me let me uh, let me comment on this slide. So this slide, for example, shows analytics we developed. Um, of sleep patterns uh, before the pandemic, um, before actually it was officially a pandemic, then what happened when we went into shelter in place and then what's happening as we reopen, um, as we re reopen um, the economy. And you can see that this represents basically the time that people spend in their own bed. And you could see that before we went into a shelter in place, especially at during weekends, and you could see during weekdays, there, you know, people tend to travel and, and not sleep in their own. But once the pandemic uh, develops, people sleep much more in their own bed, travel much less, for example. And then we can see the, re the effects of the re reopening here, for example. Here's another chart that talks about um, how, um, how many times on the average people get out of bed and there's males and females. And you can see uh, that uh, females are in blue, may, males are in the other color. And you could see that, that there is this cross uh, when, um, if you look at how much time uh, people spend out of bed every night, over time, you could see that, for example, females uh, actually do better as they age where males, you know, uh, become worse. Um, um, here's, a, here's a very interesting chart, for example, that derived from my analytic is look at snoring and, and shelter in place. And that's, that's actually quite a fascinating chart because it shows you that as shelter in place happens right here, we're sleeping more. We're actually sleeping more. Um, but guess what? We're snoring less. And that's a fascinating uh, notion is that we're sleeping more and we're snoring less. And so there's quite a 
potential explanations of that. One potential explanation, for example, is that what we found is that since, since the shelter in place, we get more REM sleep, less deep sleep. Uh, snoring and apnea actually are more uh, correlated to, to deep sleep and having less deep sleep may mean that we get less snore. It's a very interesting phenomenon that we're studying, but that's something that nobody was really aware of before we looked at you know, those millions of nights of sleep of data and understanding what happened. And we did this, you know, thanks to the help of our betting partners, uh, the people at Tempur-Pedic, who are, you know, very focused on helping people through very, you know, consumer um, side um, snore less. And so those analytics uh, are, are, are very interesting because this is a perfect example where we can possibly learn something from this pandemic that's kind of a silver lining in some way. So it, those are a few examples, but you can go on our website and there's plenty of, 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 of analytics that are derived from our millions of nights of sleep. That's a very interesting observation. So one question I have is that uh, it looks like uh, people actually are sleeping better during the pandemic. I thought it's a, it's a di very difficult time for many people. How about, do you have any ideas about uh, the change? I'm not sure people are sleeping better. Uh, that's, a, that's a very interesting thing you're saying. You know, sleep, I always say, you know, sleep is, is, is unconscious meditation. Meditation is conscious sleep. Uh, you know, it, it's a bit what you're, you're, you see with meditation. Are, is meditation bigger, better because it's longer? Or it's it's better because it's deeper, and so this this is sleep is is very similar. Uh, what we find is that people are sleeping longer for sure. They're getting more more REM sleep, which is you know the the, the the you know mind restoration sleep, but they're getting less deep sleep, which may be a sign that during shelter in place people were more stressed, yet sleeping more. <laughs> It's not clear that it was better for their health. So it's something that needs to be studied. I don't, I don't have an opinion on that, but the data doesn't show that people are sleeping better. What the data shows is that sleeping, people are sleeping longer, they're getting more sleep and they're snoring less, which is really interesting. And it could be actually healthy to snore less because chances are that if you're snoring less, you may have less apnea or COPD or, you know, uh, in, uh, significant condition, but we, 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 we haven't got the whole picture yet, but it's very interesting. So longer, maybe not better, maybe better, we don't know. I see. So let's talk about pandemic a little bit. So pandemic uh, is being seen as a big challenge, our biggest challenge in the last uh, half century to many business and entrepreneurs, but there are a small number of technology, health tech companies, uh, which addressing the challenge actually had received some investment and momentum during the pandemic. So what are the impact a pandemic has done to Full Power? So for us at, at Full Power, uh, like everybody else, you know, th this pandemic is, is a terrible situation for the whole planet. I mean, obviously uh, no one can say it's good. For us at Full Power, given our focus on sleep, continuous monitoring of what we're in remote sensing and it, it's a silver lining. It's, it's kind of a, an opportunity for full power, but we keep in mind that, you know, it's a terrible situation for, for, for everyone. Yet for us, it's been a, a positive for our company because it's opened up the eyes of the world on the importance of sleep uh, the, the how health and wellness are important, but that's true for every um, med tech company, but more important, the important of, uh, of sleep, the important of telehealth and how we can, we can help with remote sensing monitoring and how important it is and how that technology is important and, and, and how the, the, the conventional ways of saying, you know, you're gonna, you know, for example, a lot of, of, of the health stuff has been, based on questionnaires and all that, and how instead of, 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 of going on, on, on asking simple questions and using quantified self and using AI methodologies, 
uh, machine learning, big data solution to actually come up with a better way to help people be healthier and hopefully help with the pandemic because that's really what we all want to do is, is what are the tools that we can build, give to people to help with the pandemic and better sleep is a better immune system. I mean, there's, as you know, three, three, three most important things you can do besides, you know, finding a vaccine and, and, and DNA treatment is sleep better, eat better, and, 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 and exercise. And if you do those three things, you, you, you do quite a, quite a few things better and you can improve people's health. <clears throat> Okay, that's great. You already have uh, several very successful exits in the past. Where do you see the future of the full power? And or maybe another different way to ask questions that where do you want to bring full power to? Well, our vision really is, it, 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 it is to empower the world with the platform that we built. We, we, we spent a decade building a, a cloud-based AI powered platform that, that allows us to understand uh, sleep, for example, better and give tools for people to be better uh, clinical trials, for example, for a drug. Let's say they have a drug that's looking at certain medical condition and you want to understand, you know, what can I tell about that drug? Well, if you monitor people eight hours a night and, and, and have the tools to do all the analytics and have control groups and all that, you can maybe find the positive, negative, or neutral effects of, of a drug because uh, you know the, you don't get to observe people for eight hours a night on their vital signs completely non-invasively in their home um, very often. And that's a, that's a very powerful tool. Um, in the same way, um, if, if, if you look at how most people sleep, um, I think that the smart bed and, and, and a more intelligent bed and a more um, um, optimal way to sleep would be very important for, for, for everyone on the planet. Um, everybody sleeps. We have six and a half billion or seven billion people who sleep every night, uh, spend eight hours pretty much in bed, some of them less, some of them more, et cetera. That's a lot of potential and a lot of opportunity uh, that we can we, we we can help with and and that's the future of full power is really to to do something great and and as a consequence have a great business but we start with actually providing uh, a, 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 a measurable and meaningful benefit to helping people improve their lives and that's really what what our goal is whether we do an IPO whether we we make a strategic partnership, that's, that's a matter of, of opportunity. But more important is our mission um, and, 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 and basically our vision and to accomplish that with a great team that we have of passionate people. That's really what's important. Okay, great. Uh, maybe a small question. Do you have users uh, outside of uh, North America? Um, we have most of our users today are in North America, but we do have uh, users outside of North America. And, um, but most of our users today are in North America. And that includes uh, the United States of America, Canada, and some in Mexico, but most of them are in, in North America because uh, we are working with several of our partners to, to to uh, to expand worldwide, um, but at this time, most of the users are in North, in North America. Okay, got it. So, because one of the F fifty's initiative to find health tech, no, te find health tech and innovations who can benefit the billions of people, I think sleep solution definitely is one of them. But I do have a different question for you. So, you have been a CEO and a founder, of course, mathematician for so long. Are you bored? Have you ever considered a different role? Maybe uh, instead of being CEO, being an investor, being a mentor, being a board member, instead of running a company? Uh, I'm not bored at all. I'm very passionate about what I do. Um, um, I'm, I'm very fortunate to, to, to 
never think about vacations or things like that. I'm, I'm lucky also that I'm, I have a, I have, you know, passion also for music and I'm a musician. Uh, so I, 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 I get to do that. Um, but, um, I'm very passionate about what I do, but I do mentor people and give advice to people sometimes. I'm happy to do that, but I'm really passionate about what we do at Full Power and how we can help the planet sleep better. I mean, you know, it's, it, it's really a, a fantastic mission, really, uh, how to help people sleep better. I mean, because, I mean, I, I'll tell you an example. If, if we were in a live audience right now, I'd ask, the, and I've done that many times with an audience with 2,000, 3,000 people, a big audience. I'll ask questions. Who, is, who has slept too much last night? And usually people, there's always someone who says, oh, I have out of a thousand people. And that person is kind of silly. But um, most people say, no, I wish I had said, we live in a completely sleep deprived uh, society. In a sleep deprived society, uh, we know that sleep and the immune system work together. And, and sleep deprivation may be a, a, a leading cause of, of critical diseases where there are chronic diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, um, stroke, uh, even cancer, et cetera. We don't understand all this better, but if we help people sleep better, surely we'll help them live better. And that's really important. Uh, okay, great. We have um, many, many entrepreneurs and investors watching this video. Do you have any suggestions to other entrepreneurs uh, during the pandemic? Well, um, the pandemic is very difficult. I mean, I have several friends who have businesses who are very challenged because basically, you know, it's not easy. I mean, the, 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 the practicality of it is a lot of the economy stopped with cell turn place, et cetera. And it's very difficult because, you know, uh, if the economy stops, you know, a lot of the business stopped. And so the key is, is the number thing is to, is, is this also will pass and you got to find a way to be patient to not give up and 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 to to do whatever it takes to live through it if you're if you're if you're an entrepreneur and you're building a business you got to do whatever it takes and however you have to do it to be able to to pass this because this pandemic will pass and at, on the other side people will be more focused on wellness on health etc so it's a it, it's a fantastic opportunity for the health wellness industry because suddenly with the pandemic you have billions of people on the planet who realize oh my health at the end of the day is all i have you know you you, you if health is gone everything is gone and 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 you know i've seen the challenge of some of my friends who people i were friends or friendly with who have uh, a, a, a very difficult health situation. There are some famous ones, like Steve Jobs and others. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you have. If you lose your health, you lost everything. You know, if you lose your mind, you lost everything. And it's really the most important thing that people have and have to focus on is their physical, their mental, emotional health. And that's really, I think, what's important. So, for an entrepreneur, if you understand that, you say, okay, the pandemic is horrible and maybe there's gonna be some very difficult time, but you can't give up. You have to say, okay, if I'm really have a mission and something I want to build, that's gonna help uh, in, in this world of wellness and health. And we're, we're at a wellness and health conference. And I assume that we all are trying to do the same thing. This is really important. This is the most important thing that we can do. This. Uh, this beats uh, trying to build a, a, a new automated grocery store or something like that. This is like help, you know, everyone um, build a better future. And I think that's worth figuring out a way to live through this pandemic because that pandemic will pass. Okay, thank you, Philip. It was a great talk today and really appreciate it. I'm sure our audience will enjoy the conversation with you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.